back everyone. Today I'm sharing a birthday card that I made for my father-in-law. So this is a masculine card if you want to call it that and it's really for anyone that's got a fisherman in their life. So I bought this fishing rod cut fire from the Silhouette store and I landed up cutting two because I'm going to stack the two together and just glue them. I wanted it a little bit thicker just to add that authenticity of it being a rod so of all more of a 3d look i did create my own card base this time round, and i am really sorry but i did not keep a record of the measurements i used this is a product that i bought at the paper craft expo a couple of years ago at penrith and if anyone wants to order some here are the details so I thought I would have a play with them as they are called Under the Sea Fiend Pack and I thought that was pretty appropriate as this is a fishing card. Now learn from my mistakes. I had not pre-gessoed this uh, card stock and of course it really wasn't working and the colour wasn't moving so yes I'm slapping my wrist and I get out my gesso and I did cut another piece of card stock or maybe I turned it around I just used the other side. I really cannot remember. But um, once I dried it, things go a little bit smoother once it's gessoed. So I found this product similar to using the brushos or the colour burst uh, pigment colours. And all I did was I did wet my cardstock uh, just a little bit down the bottom there. And I started with the lightest colour, sprinkled it on and then added some more water and just activated it and basically I just played with it till I got something that I liked. I turned the card stock upside down and then to make the colour run a bit more I just spritzed it with some water and then went on with some more blending, played with the paintbrush. I did all sorts of things. The idea is just to play and have fun and see what you can come up with. There's no right and there's no wrong. Just play. As you would have seen, at one stage I even sprinkled some on and this product comes with those little blending foam things at the top there that you can see right at the top. There's four of them. And I just sprinkled it on and then just used that to blend it in. But a uh, word of warning, make sure that your cardstock is dry. So I found that this product for a under the sea type card was really nice it gave some really nice texture it um, has a bit of a graininess to it it's not as smooth as a brush o or the color burst but i quite liked it on this card i don't know how i would feel on something else but it, you know what it's another it's another medium to play with and uh, on this card it really really worked out really well so of course I have to play with my favourite product, that is the Distress Oxides. And here I'm just using the colour Broken China with the blending tool. I'm now going to be using the colour Salty Ocean and that's just that little bit darker than the Broken China. And that is because I'm trying to create different shades of blues in the oceans as, uh, as it gets deeper and where there's pockets of rips and everything else that happens in the ocean. And I uh, just didn't want it all to be one plain flat colour. The third colour I use is Faded Jeans. And the only reason I'm using it is just to create a bit more depth to the card. So to activate my Distress Oxides, I just got some water on my hands. And I clapped my hands, I shook my hands, I did all sorts of things with my hands. Just to get all those different size water droplets. I then just took a paper towel and I used that just to soak up some of that water and to leave those lovely little shapes of water splatters that I love so much. Then I went in with my Distress Oxides once again and just went over every, everything. So instead of being white, they just had different shades of blue and I really, really liked the effect. So now it's time to put this card together. The fish die cut that I'm using is also from the Silhouette store. So what I'm doing here is in that little dish I put some modelling paste and I'm going to add some colour to it with my Nuance pigment powders and the colour I'm using is Royal Blue. So once I've mixed my colour and I'm happy with the results I am going to do some stenciling. The little stencil that I'm using is from Delish Scraps. 
and now it's time to work on my little fish. So the first thing I did, I remembered to put some gesso on him. So as you could see, while I was adding the gesso to my fish, it was also turning blue. That was because I didn't clean my craft mat and it was just picking up, well my finger was picking up the blues around um, the mat. But that's okay, I like the effect so I just ran with it. So to colour in my fishy, I am using the Distress Oxides in Spice Marmalade. And then I also use Rusty Hinge, but that is in the Distress Inks. I'm now using my Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes. Now these are an Australian product. And to activate them, all you have to do is squirt them with a bit of water and away you go. The fish and the rod are silhouette cut files. I cannot remember off the top of my head uh, what the file is called. It is one for the one file you do get the fish and the rod. It sort of comes together. But if you leave me a comment in the comment section, I am happy to look it up for you and let you know the name of the file. While I remember, I better let you know the colours that I use from the Shimmer Cubes. The first one is leather and then I also go in with the grey colour and that one is called Steel. And I am sorry but I cannot remember the name of the colour that I use for the lips. I actually spent quite a bit of time on this card. I don't normally like spending that much time on a card because Really, I always think people are going to throw them in the bin, but um, I hope my father-in-law appreciates the effort that went into it. Oh my, I completely forgot I did some stamping on this card. So I have these beautiful stamps from Courtier Creations, they're called Beside the Beach. And I really like that wave stamp that it had, so I used that down the bottom and it in, in real life, you can actually see the sort of waves that I had down, but it's something very subtle. And then I used the seaweed stamp just to add some seaweed right down the bottom of the ocean floor, that type of effect, and, you know, where the fishes go and get their food. So, yes, this card is almost done. Man, I hope it didn't land up in the bin somewhere. And for my fishy to stand out a bit more, what I did was I added some fun foam and then I gave it a googly eye from my stash. And then I thought, oh, the gills are looking a little bit plain. So my idea was to jazz them up a bit by adding some glue to all those little scales there. And then I had these micro beads in my stash. Don't know where from, but they were there. And I thought, yep, they're the right colour. I'm going to use them. And in the end, I was really happy with how this card turned out. I had a lot of fun creating it. It's not a card that I would make a whole batch of cards of these like because it was just so time consuming. But you know what, this is for my father-in-law. It's for someone that you love. So in the end, it doesn't really, all the time that you goes into it doesn't really matter because you're enjoying, you're enjoying yourself and you're creating something personal for someone you love. And now it's time to work on the happy birthday sign. So I just used my Misty to and some old stamp that I had somewhere. And um, I didn't like it stark white, so I just used a very pale bluey colour ink, or maybe it was even grey colour, I can't remember. And that's what it looks like. So I was really, really happy with how it turned out. Anyway, please, if you like my videos, can you... Please subscribe, please share with your friends, I really would appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel, so anyway, bye everybody.